it's over. <sighs> now I can finally get some rest. But there are still lots of Heliobi roaming around out there. Oh, we can't rest for too long. I couldn't agree more. I'd rather focus on resting first. I need to wait for my heart rate to recover before I go chasing another Heliobus.
rest while you can, and gather your strength.
to say bye. Boom. World cleansing track. <laughs>
The market always fluctuates. Whenever you're ready. Go Nuffy! Stand still. Time to say bye. Consequences are mine to bear. Consequences are mine to bear.
as it did yesterday. All yours. Thank you. 
Good. It's all yours. Peace. Since when did Fix Storm Garden?
say bye.
get started with today's operations. The Ten Lords Commission Special Operations Team for the Heliobus Containment Breach Incident, aka the Ghost Hunting Squad, is ready for action! Yeah! Yeah... Huh? Looks like we're the only ones in good spirits today. I'm sleepy. Oh, little Gwei, what kind of magical elixir did you take to make you so energetic? Every time I see our follower count increase, I get so excited I can't even sleep. It works better than any kind of tea or coffee. Well, aren't you lucky? As soon as I closed my eyes, I dreamt of endless running and circling and chasing after Lady Bailu. It was even more exhausting than doing it in real life. Sushong, you slept for an entire day. Catching ghosts is a night job. It only makes sense to sleep during the day. <laughs> an idea. How about we all just pretend that I've been possessed by a sleep ghost, let me sleep for another 10 hours, and then call it a day's work? Oh, that's the Celestial Jade player over at Exalting Sanctum. Whenever I pass through on official business, I always see her with loads of other players. Even a judge knows her. Her reputation sure does precede her. Who is this exactly? It's this girl. Here, look at this post. Hi, take my job seriously. I never post something like late as usual on a public forum. Miss Sushang, uh, I think you missed the interesting part. The description in this comment is really suspicious. It definitely sounds like Heliobi activity to me. And if Heliobi have managed to infiltrate the Divination Commission, that spells big trouble for the Lafu. You're right. Maybe we should contact Miss Chingchue and warn her not to go to work today. Notification sent. I guess now we should go to the Divination Commission and see what's going on. Hmm, but let's talk to Sirius again first. You imprison Luxie in the Matrix. And I heard the cries of other Heliobi longing to break free. Hmm. That would seem the Ten Lords Commission has everything under control. What is it you want from me? Outside the confines of our agreement, you would be unwise to attack. One victory equals one question. Uh, uh, don't forget the agreement you made with the general. Don't be so sure of victory before the battle begins, young one. Without tail to protect you, isn't subduing a Heliobus a bit overwhelming for you? You know... It... <gasps> really? Of course. 
wanted to hear. Oh? The fact that you're trying so hard to persuade me means that you're not sure of victory either. If you were, you'd have devoured us without hesitation. Am I right, Cirrus? Then have it your way. I'll destroy Ching Yuan's pawns here and now! Your previous victory go to your heads. The slightest misstep will be your undoing. Let's see how you perform. There's a general here to watch your back. I will never rest. Your mortal bodies will fatigue and breathe their last breath. Then I will endure. has been infiltrated by Heliobus, but we don't know which one. Entering the Xianzhou's window to the future, it must be none other than... Kiraloom. They always relished hounding your prophets and seers with questions of destiny. Watching them flounder between the random and the preordained. <laughs> that pile of protein in your human skull is computationally inefficient. Your conjectures on destiny are little more than analogies and illusions. But we, the shapeless, are different. When we come together to harmonize and observe, destiny... Ugh, in warfare, nothing is more... It is said that... It looks like we have... I may not have this... Huh. Time will tell. Lord's Commission, Judge? Something's amiss in the Divination Commission. Everyone is mumbling to themselves. Is this some workforce overhaul? Did I set a bad example? Uh, I'm afraid not, Miss Tingtre. Something unexpected happened. I'm just not sure how to explain it. The, the Divination Commission may have been infiltrated by some unknown creature. If you rush in, you could become a target, too. Miss Sushang, we're supposed to be operating in secret. I want Ching Chua to have an idea of the gravity of the situation. Hmm. I suppose Miss Ching Chua should be safe enough. The one we're chasing probably has a more, uh, complicated target. Sounds like a compliment, but at the same time, eh, I'll just take it as a compliment. In that case, Miss Jingtre, could you stand guard here for us while we investigate? It doesn't seem like a good idea to just stand here under such dangerous circumstances. I mean, you could leave, but... Oh, wait, are you thinking of coming with us? Didn't you see how bad the situation was? Yeah, yeah, I've seen it, all right. But if I leave now, won't that count as an authorized absence? I can get away with slacking off, but the Master Diviner won't tolerate complete abandonment of my post. Besides, you guys need someone familiar with the Divination Commission to show you the way, right? The... What's going on? Stay close to me, okay? I'm... What are they looking at? Is everyone 
Okay. There's only one way. Divination is meaningless. How did the Matrix of Prescience become like this? Look, Diviner Fu is standing at the center of the Matrix of Prescience. What is she doing? Judging by her chanting, I think she's performing navigation calculations. Or divining. But something's not right. The Matrix of Prescience isn't moving at all. A Heliobus? Is that the danger you were talking about? I read about them in a book. Starfire essence that can transform itself. Enjoys manipulating the dreams and desires of mortals. You mean the Master Diviner is being controlled by something like that? How can we snap her out of it? Uh, we could try ringing the harmonic chime. If we're close enough, we should be able to enter the Heliobus's illusion. Silence! Idle chatter is not permitted in the Divination Commission. Master Diviner! You're awake! Or perhaps we should call you Caroloom! It doesn't matter what you call me. I am the master of the Divination Commission. The current divination has reached a delicate stage, and no one is permitted to disturb it. Not even a judge of the Ten Lords Commission, or a guest from the Astral Express! Ching Chui! I have grown weary of your insubordination! Are you the one who brought these outsiders into the Commission? Have you turned a deaf ear to all the rules I've laid down? Ching Chui! You are hereby expelled from the Commission! I... Th that's... Darn! Now we're down one person. A great idea! <laughs> My days here really have been unproductive. Loafing around outside and playing Celestial Jade. All while taking a Divination Commission salary. It's... How to put it? Quite the right way to describe it. I would call it wasting my life away. Thank you, Master Diviner, for giving me the push I needed. Since you feel that my skills could be put to better use elsewhere, it's time for me to think about making some changes. But before I leave, I have to help these guests take care of some trouble here at the Commission. If I don't, people will think I was fired because of cowardice in the face of danger. What next? What do we do now? <laughs> Giving a dramatic speech to my boss was cool and everything, but it's not gonna help her break free from the Heliobus clouding her mind. I'm not sure what to do. The Heliobus isn't trying to trap us inside the illusion, and it doesn't look interested in attacking us either. Clouding my mind? I've never been a clearer mind than I am right now. From now on, I will dedicate myself to defining the predetermined futures of the Cien Zhou Alliance, and will make these futures known to the world so that all can live in clarity. I know what you want to say. Spare me the lecture on you. What your even it. <laughs> the rise and fall of a type. Venting your anger is meaningless. Anger cannot change that which is already ordained by destiny. All offense, no defense. Is that your strategy? Put your attack won't land on me. Only on these innocent puppets. Time to say bye. Boom. Such trivial.
trivial choice if you are if you have such if you are still not then follow This place is what the Divination Commission calls the Pathfinder. That's right, but you're probably... And yet, we are just like... Let's begin. It feels like we're... Let's begin. Well done. Your choices are as the Omniscia foresaw them. You should know that there was only one answer to this puzzle from the beginning, just as destiny has only one path. Yes, for a puzzle that was designed from the start, choosing any other path would be a pointless mistake. But the universe isn't someone's game. And no one is designing puzzles for us to solve. The universe doesn't have a single answer. We can do anything we want while we're in it. Even if it's the same work every day, I can hide in the library and read a book. Or find someone to play Celestial Jade with. I never thought slacking off could convince me of anything. A sign of a true scholar. A diviner of the Divination Commission, after all. Ugh! Sushong! Snap out of it! A slacker Heliobus is getting into your head! <sighs> ching Chue, Ching Chue. For you, life may have a seemingly infinite number of choices. That is because your choices are simply different ways of slacking off and wasting time. They are of no consequence to anything. But for me, choices come with very real consequences. That's the most divinery thing you've said so far. As the master diviner of the La Fu, I have a heavy responsibility. I must comb through the complex threads of destiny day after day, all for the preservation of this giant ship. Some paths look promising, but lead to an abyss of despair. Then there are small trails that plunge deep into unimaginable darkness. And in the end, I realize that we have no real choices. There is only one path to follow, only one way to the optimal solution, even if it is paved with ashes and bitterness. There is only one way, and there only ever was. What do we do? I don't think we can persuade her. I have a proposal. Why don't we try a more advanced sandbox? However long you want to play this game, and whatever tricks you try to pull, I'll happily play along. <gasps> Miss Ching Tre! Use your free will to guide the Ingenium out of the sandbox. Let's begin.
just a little. The path changed slightly, but it was just as simple. I'm sure the Master Diviner would say. Destiny only has one path. Your choices are just a predetermined solution to the puzzle. Actually, I don't think I agree. Master Diviner, let's reset the sandbox and give it another go, shall we? Again? Do it all over again exactly as it was? You can try it a million times over, and a million times over it is doomed to the same fate, because there is only one path. <laughs> I see what you're thinking, Ching Chue. You're an interesting one. Ching Chue? I've been thinking through the calculations for this puzzle. There really is only one solution. This maze was designed by Caroloom. It's no use. There aren't any other solutions. As long as we're playing this so-called game of destiny, we can't win. No, there's a second choice. There will always be another choice. Mr. Trailblazer, quick, say something to persuade her. I didn't mean like that. Ready to begin? Of course there's another solution to this sandbox. Listen to my idea. You're all gonna help, right? Miss Chingtra, I don't know how you're planning to solve the puzzle, but I'll support this squad to count me in. If we can help, I, I only need two people for my plan to work. Destiny only. You go stand in the sandbox. Right about that spot. Next, Judge Ho, you stand on the other side of the room. All right, we're ready. And now, the second path. Let's begin. Other solution. The alternative choice. I created a new solution. Master Diviner, you're not the only one who can design a puzzle. And I don't tread the path of destiny alone. <laughs> you think that by calling on your companions for help, you created a new path out of thin air? You're just playing with semantics. I could weave a thousand routes for you, but they lead to the same destination. So what significance is there in having a choice? Creatures like you don't understand humans. The universe is like jade tiles on a game table. When the tiles are shuffled, the outcome is already predetermined. 
which tiles can be played, which tiles are left over, what kind of hand the person next to you is trying to make. All of these can be determined through calculations. But if everything is just a calculation, the game loses its flavor. Randomness and adaptability, ambushing your opponent, twists and turns, the balance of the elements. It's a mix of calculations, unknowns, and loss of complete control that makes Celestial Jade the kind of game it is. And those are the same things that give life its color and vibrance. Do my choices at the game table mean nothing if I have a sure loss in front of me? No! The choices are what make the game meaningful in the first place. Even if I lose, I'll still make choices to lighten the loss. Just like the Master Diviner is making choices for her own agenda. You were right when you said that as Master Diviner, you must comb through the complex threads of destiny day after day, all for the preservation of this giant ship. In this vast universe, a game where there are only losers, our Master Diviner is making endless choices, fighting against the odds just so the Lawful can travel safely for another day. <laughs> In my book, she's the best player there is. Why would someone as talented as the Master Diviner go through the trouble of making endless choices if the end result is predetermined? Chiliabas, you cannot fathom the joys of humanity. You are imprisoned by the illusion of destiny, unable to free yourself. And you want everyone who peeks into the future to suffer the same pain as you. You don't understand humans at all. Don't let them trick you, Fu Xuan! Don't push me away! Don't let her work fool you! Kiriloom! Release the Master Diviner! I see through your trickery! I see through every bit of it! I'm going to lose! Victory is beyond my reach! Why? Why is there no alternative? Everything in this universe is predetermined! No! I... I have no path to victory! To travel far away! Bye. Boom. Relax. Wait. 
Powerful fragment, but becoming entangled in their illusion can lead to endless despair. Hurry! Just hurry up and see me in the darkness. I've foreseen what happens next. You're going to imprison me. Ching Jue, thanks to you, the Divination Commission is safe again. No need to thank me, Master Diviner. By the way, while you were possessed, you fired me from the commission. So... that counts, right? I'll have to ask you to give me written notice that my contract's been unilaterally terminated. Then, with all the years I've spent in the Divination Commission, I'll be able to get a great severance package! And I already planned what to do with all the money. I'm gonna open a gaming parlor, hire a couple of workers to run it, and spend the rest of my days living off the profits. I'll have started a new life without having lifted a finger. <laughs> Are there two Ching Chues? Uh, I see. <clears throat> What a pity. I don't recall anything I may or may not have said while possessed by the Healy of us. In any case, Ching Jue, why are you still here? Shouldn't you be on duty back at the repository? Huh? M Master Diviner, you can't back out now! Of course I can. After all, there are always choices in life. You taught me that. I can't convince real you, let alone possessed you. Master Diviner, you should get some rest. I'm gonna go take a br- I mean, get back to work. My actions today brought great shame on the Divination Commission. Yes, all is well, minus my headache. Heliobi are good at finding people's weaknesses and exploiting them. Everyone has some kind of weakness. You're not to blame. That's right. You were just a victim of the Heliobus's trickery, Diviner Fu. No need to blame yourself. I must express my sincere gratitude to all of you for your help. Apologies, but the Divination Commission is in disarray at the moment. I must return and set things in order. I'm afraid I cannot see you off in person. Wait! There's something we need to ask you. What is it? I agree that the Master Diviner gets possessed wouldn't make for a good headline. I don't care how you spin the story, so long as you leave my name and identity out of it. Yeah. 
I have many things to attend to. Please allow me to save my thanks for another day. We won't delay you any longer. We need to go to Fictional Garden and seal Carolum away. Seems that your operations have met with some success. I've been browsing through some of the stories on Ghostly Grove myself. Very well then. In order to catch Helio by on the run. On behalf of the Ten Lords Commission, I commend you for your great service in resolving the Divination Commission crisis. I will honor all of you before the Ten Lords. Thanks, Madam Hanya, but uh, we really couldn't have defeated Carolyn without Miss Ch I didn't realize that one as skilled as Diviner Fu would also be susceptible to the- That said, I can understand her plight. After all, we're all moving forward on our own unseen paths in no uncertain terms. Judges are instructed by the Ten Lords to carry out their orders, but no one ever explains their meaning to us. Just like the Master Diviner, no matter what cruel and horrible paths she foresaw, as long as it benefited the Lofu, she had to make a choice. Those choices may be correct and far-sighted. But we are, after all, flesh and blood, and we cannot help but agonize over the process of making them. Madam Hanya? I apologize. I was getting carried away. I think all the paperwork must have worn down my mental acuity. Today's business is finished. Right. Let's call it a day. And you too, Judge Hanya. Don't work yourself to death. It's finally time to get back to bed!